Netflix original Windfall is a thriller starring Jason Segel, Jesse Plemons, and Lily Collins. The poster reads, every kidnapping is a compromise, and that pretty much sums up the film. Hi everyone, Billy here from Current Kick. Let's get into this movie review. Jason Segel plays a man who breaks into an empty vacation home to enjoy some of the fruits of life, along with a Rolex, of course. Unfortunately for him, as he's leaving, he decides to double back and recheck the house to see if there's any extra cash or valuables to take, which he's successful at finding a hidden gun and some extra cash. And thus we have the plot of our film, as CEO and wife, played by Jesse Plemons and Lily Collins, are actually making their way to their vacation home, arriving just in time to catch the man and get themselves caught into a kidnapping of sorts. The husband, played by Plemons, is a billionaire of sorts, so he's got cash. The circumstances change when the man attempting to make a pretty tranquil getaway gets caught on a security camera. Uh-oh, he's gotta go back and demand some more money because now he's gonna be probably living a life a bit on the run. The film plays out from here as now the man basically has to wait around until the following evening so the CEO's assistant can deliver a huge bag of money. And this really is the meat of the film. It's pretty much solely dialogue driven from here, and luckily the performances are great. I really like Jason Segel here. I thought it was going to be kind of hard for me to distance myself from his comedic roles. I Love You Man, which is actually one of my favorite comedies. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Knocked Up, and more of those Judd Apatow comedies. But I had no issues. He was great in this role and really looked the part. Jesse Plemons and Lily Collins were good as well, and I don't know if anyone else made this connection. I kept thinking of Breaking Bad, obviously because Plemons played Todd, but also because Lily Collins reminded me a little bit of Lydia, so maybe a younger version of Laura Frazier? I, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I got that in my head and I couldn't get it out. <laughs> Now yes, Windfall is a slow burn, but I have to admit that my eyes were glued to the TV the entire time. The old school opening, consisting of credits rolling on a single shot of the vacation home with noir type music playing, followed by about five minutes of zero dialogue of Jason Segel. And I laughed more than I expected to in this film. It had a bunch of dark comedy moments. Wrap this all together with strong performances and a twist not quite out of left field, in the sense that, and I'll keep this spoiler free, once it was actually revealed, I sort of saw where it was going to end up. My recommendation and review for Windfall, let me say this. I like this film, and I think actually even more so now that I've slept on it. But I can see people viewing this movie and saying that it was boring and nothing happened at all. And while I don't agree, I still get that. It's a very specific type of film, with indie and Twilight Zone-esque vibes. I guess a better description would be Hitchcockian, but for me it's been years since I've seen Rear Window, The Birds, or Psycho, etc. Which I should probably fix and watch again soon, but I digress. Is Windfall Deep? Mm, there are surface level themes of rich versus poor and technology, so there is a little bit to dig into there, but you're watching Windfall for strong performances, dialogue, tense situations, and a few chuckles. I'm giving Windfall a 4 out of 5. It's a really good watch that I enjoyed my time with. While it may not be everyone's cup of tea, I still think it's worth checking out, especially since it doesn't overstay its welcome as it's under 90 minutes, and this is coming from someone who really enjoys those two to three hour movies. What did you think of Windfall? Did you enjoy Jason Segel in this serious role? If you have any recommendations for similar movies, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Do that whole like and subscribe thing, and until next time, see ya.